Hello! Welcome to my channel of my adventures in planners, organization, books, homeschool, homesteading, travel, and whatever else I find worth sharing. So today I wanted to share the new Recollections Goal Planner that just dropped into Michael's. And so it has nice gold rings, pretty, pretty substantial, thick, wide, and it has a laminated map with gold foil, it says dream big. Just like all the Recollections Planners, the cover does come off. It is customizable. You know, there's a lot of controversy with the similarities with the Re Recollection brand and the Erin Condren brand, which is understandable when you look inside of the planner. I will say I got this planner for $14 and in comparison, this price point is a lot more affordable for most people and comes with a lot of accoutrements that are nice to have that you don't have to pay extra for. So I did wanna to show this one. So again, this is the goal planner. The the cardstock paper of the of the tab of the with the label on it is a little bit thicker than the interior pages. It says learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The tab is laminated up here, so that makes it a little bit more durable. So it does not have any, this planner belongs to entry page. It just starts right in to the content. And so it has setting your goals. And so we have, what do you want? Why do you want it? What's holding you back? What will you do to get to it? How will you prioritize it? When's your deadline? How will you reward yourself? And so then it encourages you to have small steps. On the next page, it has short-term goals graphic that leads you into a long-term goal. And so it shows, let me see if I can zoom in here. You have what month it is, what is your short-term goal, what's your deadline, if you have any mini rewards, and there's a place for two up here that lead into a long-term goal, and then you can check that off. So it shows like you might have one long-term goal, it starts with smaller steps. And there's that graphic for the top, and then there's another graphic. So you've got two long-term goals on the page for short-term goals. And then you have goals by month, and it's undated, and so you could choose to start it whenever you want. You could start right now, and then, so there's your month, and then there's what your goals are, and you could track it through. And again, it is an 18 month. You can see there's nine and nine. It'd be an 18 month. It has a gratitude tracker. I am grateful for, list what you love. It has an achievement tracker, so it's what you've achieved so far, and then you just kind of have these data points to record. The next page has dream it, do it, and it has a vision board, which reminds me a lot of the Reset Girl. This gives you sort of some guidance, let me see if I can zoom in on that, for creating your vision board. So it's know what you want, gather or draw images to define your vision, arrange and create your collage, review it daily. So again, I mentioned the Reset Girl. She's got some really great videos and suggestions, not on how to use it in a recollections planner, but she has a lot of really great ideas for creating a vision board. Then this is staying motivated. It has, you know, reasons why. And then it has a bucket list, which I really like the idea of having, you know, my bucket list right, right at my fingertips. And then it gets into the undated monthly. So there's the, you would, you know, you'd either have to get date covers or fill it in yourself and you can start it whenever. I have noticed these recollection planners, the pages are sticking together, but you just gently pull it apart. It lets you for that month, you would choose 10 goals for the month, which actually seems like a lot, but let's say you've got 10 and then you have your routine listed here. What you do in the mornings, the afternoon, the evenings before you go to bed. So that's your routine for the month. And then it gives you the weekly. And the weekly is a horizontal format. And again, it's undated. So you would write that in. You would write what the date is underneath of the MTWTFSS. And so it, it does that for the whole month. And then it also includes a goal tracker. 
so that you can kind of keep track of any, you know, specific, you know, how are you doing with your goals each day of the month. Then it has a notes page and then you go into the second month. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. And so again, same pattern. You go, you have your monthly and then you have your goals for the month, your routine for the month, and then your horizontal weekly. And it is two weeks on two page. So it's, and then it has your goal tracker. And I know that, oh, this is pretty. I know that they have a really neat fitness planner that's out, but this actually could work as a fitness planner as well. It could double for that as well. Same concept. So then here's the next month. Breathe it all in, love it all out. Enjoy every moment. Choose your own path. So again, it's an 18 month goal planner, so it'll go through 18 months. Believe you can and you will. I also like that the tabs themselves actually match the color of the cardstock page. Stop saying I wish, start saying I will. Polka dots with the tie dye. So then this one is the notes page. So you have the lined pages and these are all lined. So there's, there's about 12 pages. So then it has, since it is undated, it does give you the monthly date covers. So you can make it start whenever and use these and these, this theme matches all of the colors in the, in each month. And then it just has encouraging mottos on these stickers. You've got this, this is the tiny ones. It has tabs for short-term goal, long-term goal, goal achieved, blank. If you have appointments, goal deadlines, more month covers here. Oh, this is tabs. So these are tabs. So you can do your tabs here with what whatever month you're, you're on. It has the, the checklist, star and checks. And then it has the folder. A goal without a plan is just a wish. The recollections planners don't, it doesn't share the back page. It has its own, you know, it's two different. So you could actually take a tape runner across the bottom here or do washi and close it up and put something inside of there. Love the, love the folders in the recollections planner. And then it has the pouch, which is also really nice as well. And then you have the back cover which is a map, which also ties with the front, and this also comes off and is customizable. So there you have it, the Recollections 18-month goal planner. Until next time.